I get a feeling it's gonna be a riot. I don't read the newspapers because they all have ugly prints. Hey well guys, it's Fish here, and uh, before we get on the way of this campaign, can I just say, most of you voted for Dark Lord, I was really looking forward to it, until, um, until I found out that, okay, maybe it says I can, but there's actually, um, obviously there's more doors in the way, and you can't actually go through their territory, I'll show you, and I can't actually return because I need to do all these uh, things, but... Literally, um, to get a unit out of Mordor, I have to go all the way around here, all the way along here, and then down, because it won't let me. I, I, I did play, I recorded about 17 minutes of gameplay of me doing it, and it wouldn't let me get out through the Black Gate or uh, through here. So I had to go all the way around both ways to even get troops out, and that was just ridiculous. It would have taken me at least about 20 turns to even get a unit to a fillion, so. so I chose not to do that. I am, in fact, going to do a Let's Play with the second highest action, which is... Harad! Yeah, so if you can't, if you didn't get it from there, yeah, I'm going to play Harad. Um, it's annoying about the Dark Lord, because that would have been really fun using Sauron. But it, it was just ridiculous. It wouldn't have made for good watching. So, I didn't bother with it, really. Didn't think there was much point. Um, yeah, so we'll quickly go ahead and do this. Uh, this is a Baron mod. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for it. It's a very good mod. It adds a lot to the game, so... Yeah, we'll go for all. Total recruitment. This allows me to recruit like my elite troops straight away. Um, which sort of makes for a better game. I can bring you guys more war early on. Um, additional units, yep. Diplomacy. This uh, makes good factions declare war on evil factions and etc. Um, and ally with good, like, yeah, it just makes it better. Immortal heroes, no. If a hero dies, they will die. Extra videos, no. Horde faction, this is quite cool, that means that if you get rid of a faction, um, then they're not out, they can still have a chance to come back in if they still have some units, so if we get completely fucked then we won't completely be out. Um, yeah, so converting factions, what does this do? Good factions have a choice to convert to evil. Oh, that's quite cool. So if they're about to get knocked out they can change to an evil faction, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, allied factions can be resurrected. Garrison script can go fuck the heck off. Hate the garrison script. Uh, yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, emerging factions, it means factions just spawn units sort of halfway through, I think. Like if we're moving out. Um, total diplomacy, yeah. Yeah, we might want to have a look at a settlement. Appoint me next day, I, I want to appoint me next day. Um, yeah, we want to get rid of that. We don't want them spamming. Um, if you press accept. Would you like invasions to be optional? Yes, yes I would. Spawn she lob, yeah, that's cool. Good versus evil campaign, obviously. Be evil, act evil. There be rewards for exterminating populations and conquerors. Oh, that's quite cool. So if I capture loads of people and execute them, I get culture boosts. That's very cool. The nine. Um, should we have the nine? Yeah, why the hell not? Immortal, I, even though they were pretty much immortal, I don't want them to be immortal. Visible and eyed settlements, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's, that's everything. Let's start off an invasion. Would you like press accept invasion to begin your campaign? 
if you want decline if you want invasions to start from yeah we'll, we'll leave it to about 1050 to start invasions oh no yeah okay okay cool so yeah let's start we start off with a lot of money as well this is very nice I definitely like playing these lads so should we can we recruit me and McKill straight away no but we can recruit very good troops from here that's quite nice um, so yeah we'll quickly go around building farms everywhere um, make sure what's that town watch yeah we'll build build a town watch there but only when everywhere else has farms and shit land clearance is essential they're just military buildings which aren't too vital um, oh no I didn't do that we'll get that farm um, there what about here oh we've got quite a few things here anything interesting mines yes we want to get that mine straight away um, obviously a start to any campaign farms roads mines temple that's quite cool um, hmm yeah farms and a market there hmm farm first I guess then market uh, we've got a settlement down here, a very small, small settlement but you shall get a land clearance nonetheless I do not discriminate in my land another, um, yeah because these settlements over here can be very very good because they are very small but they have the potential to be massive and we shall put everything on low so they grow and in the long run I just, from what I've read it seems that when stuff is on low tax in the long run it is uh, much much better correct me if I am wrong though that's just what I have heard because I guess yeah I, I just that's just what I, I have read so oh hello are you a merchant? no he's a scout let's go take him up here and we shall send you here to scout out that uh, place and we shall, oh I haven't done these two places yet either land clearance good grand exchange there, that's quite nice and here we should be able to recruit a load of things mines, mines it shall be low tax and we'll put low tax up here as well low tax yep it means we won't be getting so much, so much money early on, but we'll be getting enough, uh, which will be fine. Is there a special thing I have to build? Hold on, we here. This is where we want to be. Is there a special thing I have to build to get Moomer kill? Let's see what it is. Maybe it's here. Moomer kill, there we go. So we just need to get that stable. We'll get the stable next and we'll get some Moomer kill out straight away. Just for the sake of it because it'll be really, really cool. So yeah, we'll get some Moomer kill out. We have our Corsia ships as well, which are cool. An assassin. For some very good men. We'll start building a reasonably sized army as well. Um, we don't want to get a massive army. But we'll build a, we'll build a decent one. We'll get some pikemen. They're cheap and they'll be nice to kill Gondor and Cav because I can imagine Gondor they'll be able to get like like um, swan knights pretty early on so um, that'll be quite quite deadly having swan knights pretty early but I guess so will having fucking Muma kill straight away um, well not straight away but in like 8 turns I guess because the mine will take 4 stable will take 4 so yeah 8 turns something to look forward to and then I guess a ninth for it to be built and then several turns for it to be taken to the front but after all that time I'm sure they'll be very very deadly so yeah um, I'm looking forward to owning up Gondor after the ah oh, so frustrating that that campaign failed well it didn't fail it was going perfectly we are about to push into Gondor and slaughter I mean push into Mordor, um, literally like the next couple of turns. Um, I don't want to waste money on you, sir. Back to reached. Oh yeah, because I can see all my allies. 
yeah, yeah, I can now see all my allied uh, places. This is what I was talking about. Um, I'm not allied with them. Don't know what I can see of them. But yeah, as I, like as you're allied with these people, you can see all their fortresses, um, which is cool. Gives you a bit more map awareness, and so you can sort of know where everything is, which is very cool. He's just moving up to find this place here, which we're going to take, and then we're going to take this place as well here. And then, oh, we've got some ships here, which is good. We can bring them back to put an army on as we recruit troops from here. Um, I want to get, I want to get a decent-sized army. Get some trollmen. We'll get some. Uh, just trying to think, what should I get? I get some corsairs, and turn, and then with that army, we'll then go off. I'm gonna get a general from some somewhere. I probably should have accepted that dude. Oh well, it's not the end of all. Hopefully, we get an offer from a general this turn. That would be cool. Would be very, very cool indeed. Also, I finally got my uh, Napoleon Total War to work, so. Me and Diplex should hopefully, when we both have time, because we were going to record yesterday, so what was yesterday? Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, we were going to record Tuesday, but my Napoleon to uh, Total War decided to break, so we couldn't, which was really annoying. But uh, I managed to get it working now, so that's cool. So yeah, we should be bringing you guys some co-op, uh, which will be fun. Here we go, hopefully you spawn Isengard reached. I'm allied with everyone, all the evil factions. I think they automatically um, ally, and all my land clearances were built, which is very nice. Um, what do I want to get? Market there, or Grand Exchange. I don't want to do anything there, really. I don't want to waste my money. That's going to be all my money. And I need to retrain some troops. Um, we'll do it. But it's going to be quite costly, which is annoying. Farms are still building there. Where else was it? Not oh, here. Yeah, you don't have enough money to do that. So that's cool. We shall. Uh, did you spawn here? Where did you spawn? Ah, oh, where did you spawn, my friend? Where you at? Where you at? Here you are. Our enemies will suffer. He will meet the ships up here. Let's watch the we rest here. Who are you? Corsia yeah, archers. That's cool. Yeah, so these boys shall go up here and meet him Our up here. Whilst uh, my, uh, my spy goes in and has a little. and dies. <laughs> I was going to say have a little gander, but yeah, he dies. Oh, sad times, sad times indeed. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just end the town again. There's little to do early on because obviously we're not fighting any battles, so. But what I'll probably do, I'll probably just take that settlement and then end the episode. So I'll give you guys a battle to the opening uh, game, to the opening sequence of the campaign, which will be cool. I say cool quite a lot. <sighs> um. Sorry, it's just really late here and I wanna go to bed but I wanna get through this because what it's it's two o'clock here now and I've got college in six hours. So I wanna go to bed. But I also wanna play this dilemmas. Oh, it's so hard being um being young and having college. So hard. <laughs> uh, uh no, we don't want you. Take rebel settlement. Oh, there's one up there as well. I guess we'll take that one. What are you going to give me? Some of my best units currently available. Oh, all my farms are built, which is nice. You should be on low tax, my friend. It's not looking good for my treasury, is it? We need to take the settlement uh, ASAP. So yeah, you're moving. And you are moving. Yep, that's cool. We will just skip a dish shit whilst that does and what in turn again. And then hopefully then my mines would have built as well. I believe four, five, five turns maybe. 
Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely be built next turn, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot. And um, I'll also burst into flames, surprisingly enough, if I'm wrong on deciding when my buildings are going to be built. Uh, funny enough, uh, yeah, I, I burst into flames. It's not nice, but it happens. Yeah, I just have to deal with it, really. Oh, I'm speaking a lot of crap whilst I'm tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I do apologise. No, we do not want you. We don't afford you, is what I mean to say. Mines were everywhere, lovely. And all the factions are at war with everyone. Uh, yeah, so you can you can meet them off a boat next next turn. And where's this place you want me to take, Sauron? Up here, so. Ah, oh, so that's pretty much go back, even. Oh well, we'll end the turn, and we shall do your bidding. So yeah, we've we've got quite far through already. I mean, we haven't been playing long. I, I'm I'm guessing about about 15 minutes. That's probably what I'm guessing. Is how long we've been playing. So it's not it's not long. But yeah, my plans for the campaign is to take all these rebel settlements, uh, push up into uh, Aphelion, take the bottom of Aphelion. To sort of like power block in um, Mordor so they have to funnel through Isilia. Make sure I block the land path to uh, Minas Tirith in Pillar Pillar something, I believe it is called. Uh, make sure I block that with my superior ships. Um, then I will probably, yeah, so I'll make sure I block that so I can advance through it when I want to and uh, and so yeah so I can just go when like go through it when I need to and not go like have it blocked so Gondor can only come through uh, the land pass in your top left hand corner or through ships obviously but let's hope they don't do that and I wonder how fucked um, Isengard are going to get from Rohan because normally well in 3.1 which I'm playing um Isengard have just been getting destroyed. I, I think Rohan's received a massive buff in the in 3.0 and 3.1 because they like beforehand they were just get they just got dicked on by Isengard. They just weren't good enough. And now I think the the tables are definitely turned to Rohan. Sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> Sorry, it's horrible. I apologise again. So yeah, I think the tables are definitely turned to in favour of Rohan. I think because beforehand they were just like obviously their cab in in the books etc are what they are pretty much their horse lords um but and I think in the game it this it portrayed it but um why is it stuck on more oh, come on don't be gay what are you doing what are you doing okay well I'm gonna pause it quickly oh there we go it stopped um, I was going to say I'll pause it and restart it when it sped up. I'm not sure why it sort of slowed on that. Um, maybe because the little Asian boy running my computer has stopped pedalling downstairs. I hope he hasn't, otherwise I'm going to whip him. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, I think because uh, Isengard filled a lot of spears, um, he is very good on the keep, you, yeah? wherever you are at. Where are you at? Um, hmm. Oh, you're down here. Yeah, you're very good. You've four stars already. Which is pretty crazy. Our enemies will suffer by your will. So yeah, and the turn again. I know not, not much exciting is happening, but this is the way it is going to be uh, for the first few turns. Well, probably first, I don't know, probably first 30 turns, I'd say. It won't be too exciting until I can start fielding large stacked armies. Then it'll be exciting. Where I can just steamroll through Gondor. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway, because they'll be fighting two people. And yes, they like the beacon, but like like light the beacons, because um, on the Baron mods which I'm using, you can light beacons to get uh your allies to come help you, and it, it's just so much. I really do recommend you check it out if you want to add something to the game. I mean, if you're okay just playing. Uh, the mod uh, that's cool but yeah if you want to add something be sure to come check out this mod I'm actually losing money right now which isn't great 
who they take these settlements and then just play passive for a couple of turns and get rid of a few troops. I guess because we're also, I guess because we're low tax, we're losing money, so I might have to bolster tax up a little bit. But yeah, I hope I don't have to because that'd be annoying. But I might have to. I said have to a few times as well. But yeah. We should be able to rape shit. What I think I'm going to do is, because I'm going to see who wins in a fight out of the Balrog or Saruman. So I think I'm going to pit them two against each other and see who wins. These generals I'm getting are all very good. Yeah, I'm using, losing money massively. I'm going to have to, um, after this battle, yeah, I'm going to slaughter these. After this battle, I'm going to have to raise taxes everywhere. Well, I'll raise, raise taxes in my major cities, but I'll try to keep them as low as possible in my developing cities, so that then obviously they grow and become bigger cities. My chair is really sweet, uh, squeaky. Need to get some oil. Or just use the sweat from the Korean boy. Because I'm not actually playing right now, it's a Korean boy playing for me, I'm just commentating over the top. Because um, he's good at games. I call him Andrew because I can't pronounce his Korean name. Um, this is quite cool with uh, farms, but it shall also look destroyed when I destroy it. Uh, we'll, we'll smash through two ways. Um, our troll men look cool. Our men just look there's just no organisation in there. Just two all completely different uh, units. I just don't move at all. And my course, yeah, it's cool. And my gem rock here as well. With the archers, where are they at? So yeah, let's go and break down these um, walls quickly. They have fucking long range. How far can I shoot? Let's take them off skirmish quickly as well. And we'll hit these bandits. Stick them on fire as well as do a bit more damage. And it looks cooler when they're on fire. It'd be so awkward if our rams ca uh, caught on fire. So awkward. I mean, with a bit of cloth on the end, it wouldn't actually do much damage, but it would, I guess it would hurt a lot and probably set your clothes alight. Because cause obviously it would have to have cloth wrapped around the piercing arrow. Um, so it wouldn't actually like pierce you, I, I guess. But it would be more blunt. Because if you shot something from like a decent bow, it would, it would still do a lot of like... Because you, if you shot it from here, with like something like this, it's just it would be going very, very fast. So on impact, it would still do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, so it would still do a lot of damage thinking about it. I'm probably getting a bit of friendly fire on her. But I'm sure I'm scaring them more than <laughs> Also something funny was um when you start a where's he going? Oh up there, cool. When you start um a dark little campaign, you actually um have the Byzantium medieval two um intro, which is quite funny. Oh, you just saw a bit of it break down there which was quite cool. I mean, Medieval 3 wouldn't be awful. I wouldn't mind having that as the next one, to be honest. I'd be cool with that. Obviously, I want Rome after Fall of a Samurai, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to bomb the hell out of that game. Um, we just have no special ability, which is sad. Well done, men. Well done. I'm proud. Oh, they're charging at me. I can do them, lads. Go get some more men in there as well. We have some more corsairs. My archers can also focus fire on them. They can run in the city with the help from the troll men and not my pipe men. My these men. I don't want to keep the pipe men in. So yeah, my corsairs aren't faring too well, but it looks like that. And our archers are just pounding our oh, in the back as well. So yeah, let's go smash these guys up. 
a general can come up as well. Get a bit closer. Speed it speed things up a little. But yeah, these will route, hopefully. Yeah, they route. And we captured this place. Out with our general as well. Our archers can then cease fire. Our trollmen can outflank the enemy. And victory shall soon hopefully be as oh, oh, I told them to cease fire. Cease fire. Oh, I didn't take them a fire at all, did I? Cease fire. There we go. These trollmen can then come through there. What am I actually fighting here? Just some spearmen, which should hopefully route. Oh, here's a special real wrath. Raises morale. Decreases, yeah. That's quite cool. So, does it increase every, all these guys? I hope it does. And these trollmen should absolutely steamroll um, these bandits. Yeah, they are. They haven't lost a man yet. Well, haven't lost a troll. Okay, they just lost a troll there, as I said it. But they've killed a lot of people. My general needs to get in there as well because he'll do so. He'll do a lot of damage because he's heavy. I think if he has that ability, it must be quite special. Yeah, he's quite heavily armored. And I still have my pikes outside. Spears of Harad. Or my spears of Harad, if you want to look at it like that. Oh, got some more course he has. Oh, they're not faring too well. Let's take my general round because they're gonna win. Uh, so we'll see they're going to beat them but if I just bolster the numbers here then maybe um, it'll give me a, just a quicker victory because they're not doing amazing actually now I mean they're winning one on one but that's not what I want I guess they're getting hit by our uh, spears as well these javelins are that's why the javelins do a lot of damage If I just keep on running my general through, there you go. Stop the javelins from shooting. And um, routed everyone else, which is lovely. And we'll just keep on running, and now it's just a fight to the death. And we need to stop them. Spear, oh shit, my general's quite close to death. And we'll just tell everyone to do a big ass off charge. Apart from you, I know you want to get involved, but and we'll pop his abilities again. I'm really impressed by my archers as well, I can shoot a very long way. My pike when I come in as well. That looks quite cool, I'm not gonna lie. To line a pike then. Okay, my archers can stop now. They're probably causing more friendly fire. Then enemy fire. The enemy's general lies dead. Good, good. The Gondorian pig is now dead. There you go. Now I encircle them and kill them even quicker. Our men have taken control of the city. <laughs> he seems so happy about it. <laughs> Uh, the trollmen took a beating. Infantry of Harad. They, you know, they took a minute exhausted as well, which isn't great. Spearmen. Spearmen. What have they got left? Apparently they have something left. Where is it? It's here somewhere. With horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Yeah, but where are their troops? They have a soldier somewhere. Victory is ours. I swear. No, there you go. We won. But well, well, it's quite cool as well. I have a sort of like a box lives. around it. There you go. We lost. Uh, we lost 259 men. They lost 800. And we'll be getting their Muma kill very, very soon. Which will be awesome. Very, very awesome indeed. Looking forward to just having Muma kill, which will just destroy anything. Hazar, Amon, you are now mine. No, just let's just occupy it. There's little to gain from doing that. 
camp sacked. Great tidings, my lord. Our soldiers sacked the enemy camp and an additional income. Okay, we're all paying. Oh, that's quite cool. And he got two commands as well. Um, and we got three ships. You know, ships are not the worst thing in the world. This means we can dominate Gondor um, nicely. Okay, we'll, we'll raise we'll raise tax a little bit in these places. We're going to need to to have any any sort of income at all. We'll leave them places alone. But stuff which like more developed cities, um, like these ones, these ones shall keep the tax at normal. Whereas like the small cities, which aren't even, like don't even have a walls or anything like these ones, these will be kept at low because they need the population growth. Um, yeah, you still got 1.5% population growth, which is fine. Um, yeah, so as I, as I said, I'll probably end the episode now. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I do apologise uh, very much that um, it's come like we had to start a new one. It's very frustrating, but you know, there's little I could have done to prevent it. So uh, yeah, I apologise for that. Um, I thank you again for sticking with me through this uh, time, this time of great, great sorrow for Middle Earth losing a great Gondorian captain. But um, hey ho, there's yeah. So as I said, there's nothing I could have done. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot for this uh, series. And just, yeah, just leave a like or a comment um, saying if you did like this, that would be awesome too. But yeah, um, I have been Fish and I hope you enjoyed and bye-bye. Uh, See you later.